Thank you. Hopefully there's a prize for the most boring slides ever because I think I'm in the running to win. Um, so I just made this um, uh, like half an hour ago. So apologies for um, the fact that really it'll just be a whole bunch of um, code. Um, so I was looking for a way to have, uh, so we use Service Desk at, at Seek to log our tickets and track our tickets and Service Desk have a, um, a REST API and I thought it would be really great if from Service Desk someone is able to press a button for software that requires a license and to then um, automatically start off that process of getting um, the license approved by their manager and for then um, for, for us to email them the, the uh, link to whatever. So for example, Adobe Creative Cloud. Um, all a staff member has to do is request Adobe Creative Cloud, then the manager approves it and provides a, um, a cost center code, and then we just add them to the, um, in the Creative Cloud portal, and then they get an email um, telling them how to download it. Um, so what I've got is a script that runs when the user clicks on the self-service item. Um, so the first part's fairly straightforward. I'm just trying to find out who the uh, logged in user is and I'm interested in what the software name is um, and that's provided in the, um, in the policy. Uh, I'm creating a style sheet on the fly um, and I'm just putting it into their temp folder. So this is just, uh, once again, I'm using trigger. So I'm just styling what the pop-up is gonna look like. So just some CSS. Um, then I'm creating the pop-up here. So sorry, the formatting's really ugly. Um, so uh, what I'm doing is I'm popping up a form because the information I want is I want to know who their manager is. I want to know what the cost center code is. And I'm also confirming um, their username as well. Um, and uh, what I'm all of that is being echoed out to a HTML file that's going to sit in the uh, temp folder. Um, when they press the um, submit button, I want to do some data validation. So this is a whole bunch of like, just some JavaScript functions that are confirming that they have indeed entered the manager's name and a cost center code. Um, and if they don't, it uh, highlights the text fields in red to just remind them that that's the information that, that I need. So what that all looks like is um, I'm running in this, so I create the, two, uh, the HTML file and the style sheet, um, and then I just run trigger and say, present this software request form and just wait for the user to click submit request. Um, and I'm getting t information by um, the fact that they're logged into their account at the time. Um, then uh, this is just the part where I'm passing the, um, the, the data that they submit. Um, and then I'm injecting that information that I'm interested in into the, um, the, an XML um, uh, text, which I then submit um, using the API key. Um, to Service Desk. And then this is where I'm just having a look at what the result is. Um, so the, the, I, I did um, notice that so normally you get like a, a fairly clear success result um, from the Service Desk API, but every so often it would give you a false negative where it would return nothing, so no, no, uh, no content whatsoever, um, but it was still logging the call with the information that, that, that was provided. Um, so I've just got some logic there to check that. And I'm grabbing the work order ID so that I can present that to the user, so just to let them know what their service desk ticket number is in case they want to um, uh, chase it up. And I'm uh, creating on the fly a confirmation um, pop-up. 
And I'm also creating on the fly, so submitted, um, uh, two confirmation pop-ups for success. So one where I know what the service desk um, job ID number is and one where I don't know what it is, but they're gonna get, I know that it's, a, uh, that it's been a positive, uh, successful submission, so they're gonna get an email from service desk. Ah, and then I'm also creating a something's gone terribly wrong pop-up and please contact tech, um, tech ops. And so this is a video with two seconds to go of it in action. So Adobe Photoshop, and it is executing in a very timely manner. There we go. They enter the pop-up. Mark Sweeney is my manager. And then they submit it, and then thank you, and that creates the service desk ticket and gets the workflow going. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.